Hey, how you doing everybody? You know what time of the week it is. It's Tuesday. What happens on Tuesday? You come to this beautiful channel and you see all the beautiful subscribers that are subscribed to the videos because they love to see the Tuesday Transformer Tuesday video. We have a little something special right here. This is going to be a four part series and I'll tell you why in a second. But you, you can see it's an 80s baby's baby, but it's a remake of one of the 80s ones. It's Kickback. This is from the Legacy, Transformer Legacy, and we do have something else back there to talk about that we'll be spoke about in a little bit. But um, this is Kickback, and I'll tell you why it's a little special. But before that, remember to hit that and to hit that subscribe so you're part of the pack and you see when all these cool videos come out. And you're wondering, why is he saying pack? Because look at the name on the thing. There we go. That's why I'm saying it, if you know what low alt means. Anyway. We have a little 80s baby, little um, throwback, creepily named Kickback, the throwback from Kickback. But uh, we have a nice little one over here, and we have a little something over there, a little Funko Pop little different thing right there, and we'll get into that in a second. But the reason why this is special is because I always go, no matter it's Target, as you saw when we got the, all right, over here, the, um little Funko Pop Optimus from uh, Rise of the Beast and the t-shirt as I showed we got this over here and this was at the discount section and it was two of them together if you're on our Facebook Transformer fan page you would see the two of them are together it's a actually a um, what you call it RC with two different Decepticons this one happens to be kickback and we'll show the RC that came with her but not only is it special because it's a two-pack but this two-pack was actually $7.99 both two packs were $7.99 so you got four Transformers for $14 sometimes you can't even get one for that price so it is very special and we're gonna go into that in a second but over here is another cool little thing we were at GameStop picking up some games for my son and we found this it's Transformers Rodimus and Galvatron vinyl figures and it is from the 2000, uh, 2023 summer convention limited edition I was shocked to see this hanging out in GameStop. There's only two of them. We got one of them as you can see pretty cool I love the details on them It is just simply amazing to see good these look at these guys So we did get a new Funko Pop to add to the Funko Pop slash Transformer collection. So over here it is from the Legacy series Kickback. If you remember these, I did have a Kickback when I was a kid. I don't know what happened to it. Lost, broke, whatever it was. It is no longer with us. Or in my possession, maybe in somebody else's. So as you can see, you got Kickback over there. If you remember Kickback from the 80s, he was Megatron's... Um, design of insecticons they don't call them insecticons anywhere on here as you can see but he does definitely look like the original i don't know why this is all folded all weird but um you got kick pack over here and as you can see remember if you just need to look at this you can pause of course and nope, that is it it felt like there was another one but as you can see right there, Kickback is over there. So we got an all new Transformer to go over. Not a compare and contrast type style of Transformer Tuesday video this week. So as you can see, he looks quite cool. Now, if I remember correctly, when I was a kid, these were metal and chrome. So I do like the idea that it's see-through. It does make it look a heck of a lot cooler because it looks more like the real insect wood. I guess he is supposed to be a grasshopper or something. I don't know. But anyway, kick back right there. And does this open? Because it looks like it opens. It has a joint. Like, it should open over there. Let me just move it off camera for a second and examine it and see. It definitely has a joint. Like, it should 150% open or move or something. If it does, let me know, because I'm not finding it right now. I'm not going to spend an entire video looking at that. But as you can see, very similar to the original ones. Uh, this part, the torso was metal. The the wings were still plastic, but they were a chrome. He was more um, 
robotic, if you will, in his insect form, I guess you would say. Not a vehicle, but an insect form. You have the little spikes on the legs, as you can see right there. He is really, really cool. I always liked the Insecticons. I thought they were a kind of cool idea, especially the way they talked. The, um, the way their voices were in the TV series and everything. It was really cool. I, I, I got into the Insecticons. There was three of them. It was Kickback, Shrapnel, and I forgot the other one. But there were several little Insecticons there. And he is quite easy to transform. So first things first, you're going to take these off. These are kind of the extender of the wings, if you will. And then you're going to turn the head around. These do move a little bit. Not a tremendous amount. I like it with the wings up. You can put the wings down to make them look more streamlined. Then over here you will fold in little insect legs in the back. You will fold this piece over here under. Boom, boom, and boom. Like so. This would move forward. And of course his hands would come out. These would fold under. Oh, almost forgot to take the hand out there. And it does have a nice little piece to give it some help to get it in place. Now, you gotta switch the legs around so he doesn't look all weird. Actually, you have to switch this around as well. And then these turn around like so. And these over here, as you can see, we have little holes right there that these fit into. Do they fit in like that or they fit in the other? I actually think they fit in the other way because they are guns. Correct, right? I don't know. So when he's in insect mode, as you can see, he would use them as guns. But here, I guess he uses them as kind of um, sabers or something of that sort. And then you have the little gun right here that goes right in there. And like I said, you could put the wings either up or down. It's your preference. I like the wings up, but you can put them down like so. Kind of gets in the way of the movement of the um, articulation of the legs and stuff. But there you go right there. Look at him. It's quite a nice looking figure, if you will. I, I do really like... I'm really digging and into the... Um, this part, I believe, on the original was plastic and yellow like that but these were like i said chrome and i really like the see-through and the little design on it it really gives the feeling of a real insect wing and little saber type slashing weapons on the side you got little weapons so i guess if he falls and someone tries to sneak up on me can just blast them from the back but as you can see right here as we talk about the articulation the little antennas move a little bit the head up and down side to side he can say yes and no uh you do have movement on the knees the hips he can do a split he can do the twist he can do oh so many dances so if you have a dance party or you're going to a dance you can definitely bring kickback he will be one of a kind and outrageous there um not much movement in the shoulders other than up and down you do have some elbow articulation and a tad bit with the hands, nothing twist or side to side, anything like that. And you could put them all those cool poses. Let's see. Whoop. No, first I guess you should set them up. Yeah, we got kind of, let's see if we can. Oh, wait a minute. You can actually move the shoulders. That is pretty sick. I didn't even realize that. But um, kind of put him in the pose he is on the back of the box for the artwork. We can kind of get him into that pose if you will. So there you have it. This is what's really cool about the newer modern ones is the posing, the little details on the plastic. I mean, the molding that they use for them, a much different molding than from the 80s. So you're going to get a much different transformer, if you will, as you can see. Really, really cool. Really amazing. I'm really into this one. Um, do I like the 80s ones better? What I can remember of them, because I don't have one to hold in hand and give a fair comparison, if you will. But pretty cool, pretty amazing in the 80s. But this one's 
equally as amazing with its movement and everything. So there you have it. Kickback, one of the Insecticons. Even though they're not calling them Insecticons now, I still call them that. But you have it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And like always, have a great, great day.